it's that time, we're making Hocus Pocus buns. You know, this is that time of year when there's all kinds of good recipes out there, but there is one in particular that I stumbled upon when I was looking for some good stuff online, and I thought, what in the world are these things? We're talking about Hocus Pocus buns. If you haven't ever made them before, it is a fun little thing to do, and this is such a simple and delicious recipe, especially for the fall season. I'm going to show you why these are called Hocus Pocus buns, and I have my 10-year-old helping me out in this video. Check it out. This is everything you need to make your Hocus Pocus buns. First, as you can see here, I have a 12-cup um, muffin tin or cupcake pan, whatever you want to call it. We're not going to use all of these. We're going to use eight of them. The reason why is because there's only eight of these in the tube. This is the Pillsbury Crescents. Um, some people call these Crescent Rolls. Some people call them croissants, but they are certainly not a proper croissant. <laughs> this is Crescents and you'll see what they look like when I open them up if you've never worked with these before. We also have some cinnamon. This is ground cinnamon. I have some sugar melted butter and marshmallows. Marshmallows here are something that are very unique to the United States. These are certainly not everywhere. Um, if you don't have these in your country, you can either make them homemade or you can try to get them from here, but they're really unique. Not a whole lot of money. They cost just a couple of bucks. Um, it's mostly sugar is what it is, a sweet treat we have here in America, like I said. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this tube of crescents and the way this works is let's see oh here it is it says can you see that it says start here so you pop this open you have to tear the paper and they say once you tear it there's my little timer going off saying telling me that my oven is hot enough once you tear it you'll hear a little pop sometimes or you have to take a spoon and press a spoon down right on the seam and the directions actually tell you to do that. And you just, let's see if it'll, oh no, it's not gonna do it. Here, let's see. Let's open that up for the rest of the way. There we go. All right, let's see if, uh, if I can get away with not getting the spoon out. Yep, there you go. Okay, see how that popped open? And here you go. There is your crescent dough. So you're gonna roll this out and you have to find where it begins or ends, where this roll does. And you just open it up like that. No need to flour your surface or anything like that because we're not rolling this out. Okay, I'll turn it this way just so you can get a good view of the whole thing. So you see how this has the seams on there? It's like nice and pre-cut. You're going to separate all those. Whoops! Just pinch that back together there. <laughs> You're going to separate all those. And that is the first step of constructing your Hocus Pocus buns. And I have a little assistant here. So you're gonna see, whoops, there I go again. You're gonna see some little hands helping me out with this process, okay? So here we go, a little gooey. Now, and these have to be refrigerated. Don't take them out any earlier from the refrigerator because once they get room temperature, they're really, really, really gooey. Mine had only been sitting out for about 10 minutes and I'm having trouble. So make sure you, you keep these in your refrigerator until you're absolutely ready to start, okay? All right, so these are all separated. Set all those aside, there's that. Now, my little hands here, bring your little hands in. <laughs> this is my daughter, my 10-year-old. She is gonna help me to mix the cinnamon and the sugar, and she's gonna help me construct these as well. We're gonna build these together, so you can sprinkle some sugar in there. Cinnamon. I mean cinnamon, some, cin <laughs> some cinnamon in there. Shake, shake, turn it sideways, because it's a little packed on there. There you go. So turn sideways and shake it. Yeah. There you go. Whoops. There you go. Tap like that and you can get it all filled up. And I'll grab this spoon. Stir that up. Exact measurements. Oh, sorry. Exact, <laughs> exact measurements will be in the description box below. So you know exactly how much um, cinnamon to sugar ratio to use. Okay. I had somebody make a suggestion to me <laughs> to make it even more fall and festive. Maybe we can add some nutmeg to it. We're not gonna do that with all of these in the name of just following the exact recipe, but we are gonna do one with cinnamon sugar and nutmeg to give it that whole festive fall vibe. We have our beautiful marshmallows here, and what you have to do is you're gonna dip, 
<laughs> you're gonna dip your marshmallow. Some of the recipes have the, the, the marshmallow dipped in butter first and some don't. We're gonna go ahead and, you wanna dip it in the butter? Yeah, that, that means yes. I have the silent assistant here, evidently. <laughs> okay, so then you're gonna dip it in the melted butter and then you're gonna dip it in your cinnamon sugar. It feels disgusting. It feels disgusting, she says, but it's gonna taste delicious. It's like a churro. It is like a churro, that's right, just like a churro. Okay, so you can put it on there. You don't have to rub it in. Yeah. You wanna rub it in. Okay, so you're gonna put it on there. Now I'm gonna do the first one, just so you can see how this is done. There's different ways that different people wrap these. I've seen videos. You've seen videos, she's seen videos. That's why we're doing our own. And once you get it wrapped up, however it is you wanna do it, you're gonna pinch this closed. Cause the idea here. To sprinkle on top. It will sprinkle on top. Now, you hear her telling me you gotta sprinkle some on top, but watch this. You can sprinkle it or you can just go like this. Dip it back in your butter like that and then watch this. Oh, and then you have all that there. She wanted to sprinkle some more. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to get that nice and covered. Okay. And then once you get it all wrapped up just like that, you can drop it right there in your pan. Here we go. This is how our Hocus Pocus buns came out. You see this one here? This is, it might look like a fail. It might look that way, but it's not because it is the perfect example to show you what happens when you bake these. Look at that. The marshmallow melted and it is gooey and lovely. I mean, are you kidding me? Doesn't that look delicious? So here's another one. This was one and I, well here, I'll tell you, this one was a bit of a fail and here's why. We didn't have it closed all the way. So a lot of that marshmallow stuck to the edges of the cupcake tin. So when we tore it, it kind of ripped, but it, it's still amazing. So is it a fail? Possibly, but I think not. So this is such a nice little treat. Can you imagine having that with like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or for a little dessert? So fun, so cute, fun for the kids because I'll show you on this one. Here's one that baked up beautifully. Look at that, right? So you open it up and that marshmallow is gone. So cute! for Halloween. Isn't that precious or any other time of year for that matter? Isn't that cool? When I saw the recipe, I thought, why are these called Hocus Pocus buns? And then you figure it out real quick once they're done. Listen, they were so good. My 13 year old that you didn't see helping in the video, you didn't see her little hands, but she took one to my 16 year old when we were done and I heard my 16 year old go, oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> they are really, really delicious. They, it's just like a little sweet treat to have. Um, and I want you to try it out. Make sure you try those Hocus Pocus buns. It's probably one of the easiest recipes I've ever made. That rollout dough, I know that's something that's super common to the state. So hopefully you can find something like that in your area. And you too can make some Hocus Pocus buns. Certainly fun for the fall and for what we have here in the States, which is Halloween. We love to celebrate that. So um, certainly a fun recipe. Check it out. Hocus Pocus buns. Thanks for checking with me today. I'll see you next time.